Hey guys, so today we are making one of the newest Marvel superheroes, one of the coolest, I think, the Black Widow. <laughs> wow, doesn't she look so Black Widow-ish? Wow, super wow. No, we're making Captain Marvel. We're making a Captain Marvel kawaii cake. I love the mohawk look, so that's what I went with. So let's get started. My name is Peter Jennings, and I was the best dang reporter ever. Do you guys even know who Peter Jennings is? He was my favorite journalist. He still is. You guys are probably too young, but that's all right. I don't care. Research him, he was so cool. So let's get started on this cake. Now to create this cake, I am using a Funfetti cake. Wow, this footage looks so similar to the Shazam cake I made. Probably because it's the same. I baked this in my 11 by 7 inch cake pan that I bought from the 99 cent store. Remember, you gotta double it up or triple it up so that your cake doesn't burn because these pans are extremely thin. I added my generic kawaii shaped cake on top and then just cut out the shape using a paring knife. I'm gonna pull away all of the excess cake and then cut my kawaii cake in half. I wanna say bake cake so bad. I really wanted to call these bake cakes, but my friend was like, you can't search bake cake, cause nobody, that's not a thing. So no one's gonna search for it because they're not searching for that. It's not a thing. So that's why I decided to just call these kawaii cakes. Makes me a little sad, but hey, hopefully there's more traffic. Now I'm gonna add some buttercream into the middle of this cake. And the buttercream I'm actually filling this with is a honey mango flavor. Mmm, that sounds so good. Oh gosh, I wish it was. <laughs> it's just sweet cream. There's no flavoring at all. I just spread the buttercream all over my cake and then just added my next layer of kawaii cake. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see everything that I post on the channel. I've got a ton of cakes coming your way. I love creating these cakes. They are the same. All of them are the same. I make sure that the body is a little bit lower than the face and then I separate the arms from the rest of the body, round out all of the features and then round out the head. I try to do it in like one swoop. Start on the right and on the left and it's all gone. Super basic. Usually you don't want to be basic, but in this case it is super okay. Now I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat. I'm just working my buttercream everywhere. And it's hard because this cake is soft, so you wanna like work the buttercream very slowly or else you're gonna crumble some of this stuff. Now once I was finished with my crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge to set and I was Netflix and chillin'. And I finished the second season of On My Block. What is going on with that show, you guys? I was super scared for Caesar. He was homeless going from home to home. He could have died several times in that show. And maybe he did. I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything. Maybe he did if he didn't finish the show. Did anyone else notice that Caesar is built stronger than his brother, who's supposedly supposed to be more of a threat because he's the leader of a gang? His brother looks like he works out at like Planet Fitness and Caesar is just like 24 hour crossfit in it. You're supposed to be scared of that guy? He's flabby. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't see any threats when it comes to flabby guys. Now I covered the bottom of my cake with some royal blue fondant. Just worked it all the way down the bottom of my cake and then cut away the extra fondant with a paring knife. Now I've created so many of these cakes and if you want to see more of my Avengers kawaii cakes, there's an entire playlist for you on the channel so that you can recreate these for like a birthday party or for yourself. Cause sometimes you're more talented than the rest of your family. And it's like, I don't want you to recreate this cake. It's gonna look like trash. So you gotta make it for yourself. Am I right? Guess who has that problem? Now for Captain Marvel's head, I'm covering her head with some Captain Marvel skin tone fondant. Just worked it down the sides and created a perfect circle. I'm just gonna cut away the extra fondant with a paring knife as well. Now whenever I build these cakes, I like to build them like action figures because I like customizing. So if you want less layers of fondant, you can totally add red fondant to create the mask and then add the cutout for her face. But because I wanted to create the mask and make it look like she's actually wearing a mask, I did it this way. I'm adding red fondant on top of the skin tone fondant so that the skin tone layer is underneath. 
It actually makes a big difference to me. But if you don't like fondant, then you don't have to do it this way. Cut away the excess and start to add some of Captain Marvel's detail. So I'm creating all of Captain Marvel's detail with red and blue fondant. I just cut them out using an X-Acto knife. Now to make this cake, I drew my kawaii Captain Marvel. And if you want to recreate this cake, I'll link the picture I drew so that you have it as a template. I started adding armor to my Captain Marvel with red fondant. And then I added some skin tone fondant for her hands. Now most of the armor that I'm adding for Captain Marvel is going to be created with red fondant. She has some detail with blue as well, but I didn't want to make the blue features thick, so I'm just creating all of those details with an X-Acto knife and some fondant tools. So all of the armor stuff is red. I'm gonna give her some little booties and a belt, and then I started to work on her mask. started to add some gold fondant, mustard yellow fondant, to create more of her armor details. I took some liberties with the design just because I liked it. My favorite was actually adding all the designs to the belt. I wanted the red belt to like stand out a lot. Now if you noticed, the chest detail that I'm creating is not perfectly centered but that's all right because we're gonna be adding the Captain Marvel logo to the middle. Now I'm adding detail to her helmet with some blue pieces of fondant and then I'm adding her hair. Yas! That blonde mohawk was my favorite thing in the entire movie. Goose comes a close second but that mohawk which actually serves no purpose I don't know how it protects her hair at all. In fact if there was a fire that probably why would they do that actually? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but I loved it. I layered two pieces of fondant to create it, and then I added some black fondant to create her eyes. And I gave her some really nice eyelashes as well. Two for each eye. Then I added some catch lights, and finally the Captain Marvel logo. And voila! My Captain Marvel kawaii cake was complete. It's so cute. I love the small amounts of detail I gave this kawaii cake, but my favorite is the mohawk. I didn't think that they were gonna give her the mohawk in the first movie, but they did, and it worked so well. Even though it doesn't make any sense and doesn't protect her hair. But that's okay because she uses Pantene Pro-V, and that makes your hair like super strong. Now, I liked Captain Marvel, but more importantly, I'm excited to see her in end games. Now I'm curious what other Marvel characters or what other characters would you like to see me make in kawaii form? I'm thinking about doing the Disney princesses this way. I think that'd be really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!